This animation represents a close-up of the amino acids attached to tRNAs interacting in a ribosome. The first uh, amino acid is in the P site, as is its tRNA. The second amino acid and its tRNA are in the A site. The large subunit of the ribosome uses its rRNA to form a peptide bond between these two amino acids. And the amino acid from the P site attaches to the amino acid that is in the A site. The tRNA from the P site no longer has an amino acid attached, so it disassociates from the ribosome and will float away. It can then be charged with a new amino acid. The tRNA that is in the A site now has two amino acids attached to it. The ribosome moves so that the tRNA which was in the A site is now in the P site. And now a new tRNA carrying a third amino acid can now enter the A site and this process can begin again. The rRNA will continue to form peptide bonds between the amino acid chain, which is in the P site, and the new amino acid, which is in the A site.